All right, here we go again. You're wondering, what, what, what's with the helmet here? The helmet's part of a lawsuit. You're not going to believe this one. Uh, story to hard to wrap your head around. Little Leaguer, 14 years old, scores the game-winning run. Rounding third, he's going to yeah. score. Heaves the, the helmet in the air. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to hurt you <laughs> or I. Uh, and this is a demonstration Next thing of you know, right. helmet lands on coach's ankle and severs Achilles. First off, I couldn't throw this at Susan's ankle right now and sever her Achilles, but somehow they say it happened. And right? now the coach is suing. It sounds extremely painful when you think about Achilles injuries. You maybe think basketball, NBA, NFL. But again, he is suing. It's a 14-year-old. He was throwing up his helmet in the celebration of this and apparently caused a severe injury. And I think that's take me out to the ball game. Well, it's take me to the courtroom for a lawsuit. Or the yeah, yeah. yeah, Pretty much sue for anything these days, right? And so many legal questions are swirling around here. We happen to have the team's parents joining us now. Joe and Reagan Paris, uh, you know, thank you both for being with us. I understand you do not want your son's identity to be revealed. That's understandable. So thanks for being with us, because I think a lot of people have questions uh, sort of about your situation. Tell us exactly when did you discover the coach's injury? Because I, I read somewhere that this wasn't an immediate thing that an ambulance came and he was taken away. He was limping a few weeks later. Is that right, Joe? Uh, a couple weeks later at a game, I noticed he was limping in front of me, and I asked him what happened, and he said, oh, didn't you hear? Your son's helmet hit my leg. And I said, no, I didn't hear, and I hope you're okay, and he walked off. I want to read for you what the coach's lawyer is saying. Uh, not speaking directly to our affiliate KCRA through his lawyer, he says, quote, this wasn't part of the game. To, someone, to have someone throw a helmet in that matter, you just don't do that. Um, I want to get your guys' reaction because that's, I mean, this is a contact sport, right? This is not the first time somebody's thrown up a helmet in celebration. Correct. And my son, um, afterwards, he didn't even know the helmet had hit anybody. So that's, you know, the case was that it was an intentional um, thing by him, and he honestly didn't even know it happened hey, at the time. Yeah, just uh, to clear things up, this is your son's coach. This isn't like the opposing coach. Right? That's, that's and correct. And this is some yes. rivalry, and he's got an ax to grind. This is your son's own coach. This is our son's own coach who was asked to resign from Little League for other reasons, who is oh. um, a bit of a hothead and a bully. But you, did you get along with him, and did your son get along with yes. him prior yes. to the helmet and incident? He was an advocate of my son. He um, thought he was a great player and even stated in a, a, the first message to me that he knew it wasn't intentional. So what did you sort of make when you heard it was going to be a $500,000 lawsuit? I understand you guys have already spent $4,000 in just legal fees, and you haven't even hit the courtroom. Correct. We, you have to respond anytime there's a, a summons for you. Um, and because the lawsuit was against myself and Joe and then also as guardians, we've had to respond four times. Got it. And by the way, real quick, Coach, if you're out there listening, we'd love to talk to you, we, you know, to get your side of the story because we've got a ton of questions, and most of us on first glance think this is just a freak accident. Your own player scores, heaves the helmet in the air. You may end up injured out of this, and now you're suing? A lot and of questions. How are you explaining this to your son? He must be confused <laughs> as well. Well, the other night, we've kept it private as much as we could because the coach's son plays on the same ball team, and the boys are friends. So mm -hmm. we didn't want we to. We haven't told him until uh, yesterday so just a few days ago we we decided to go public and we wanted to let him know and his reaction was what he was playing ball with us he was running out in the field with us there were multiple games after the fact so how, how does coached, that happen he coached 11 games after this alleged incident right now we have we've talked about it the coach is with us alan beck and his attorney Gene Goldman. All right, guys, and Coach, I'll start with you. Most people say kind of what Dad said here, that this is absurd. Sell us on why a celebratory helmet throw in the air should turn into a lawsuit. Well, uh, hello. Uh, my name's Alan Beck, and my, my first thing I want to say that the uh, depiction of uh, how everything occurred uh, was wrong. There was a runner on second and third with uh, two outs, and a ground ball was hit the shortstop. The uh, one gentleman, the uh, young, young man, was on second, and one was on third. The guy from third broke home, slid under the tag. He was safe, and, uh, and everybody uh, seemed to be happy about that. I started walking towards him from the third base bag. I was at the third base coach spot, 
and I started walking to home plate to congratulate him when all of a sudden I had something extremely large hit the back of my leg, and uh, instantly I went into the shock. And I knew I went into the shock because I lost uh, my hearing uh, temporarily. Everything dimmed down. And right at that moment, I turned around, I looked down, there's a helmet sitting at the back of my, my, my legs, and I looked up at the player, and I said, I don't want to say his name, I said, Clint, But what Alan, did you here's the for? thing, you're missing the point. This is a contact yeah. sport. You take on a certain responsibility when you walk out into the field playing sports, according to a lot of legal experts that have looked at, have looked at this, and you're suing this kid and his family for $500,000. You came out there and you walked around for 11 games after this incident happened. Okay, so, so are you going to let me finish the story? Well, yeah. Tell you how, how it happened? Okay. So, so anyways, I turned around, and I looked at him. He looked at me, and he had a, a, like a, 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 a look of shock on his face, and I said, what did you do that for? And, and that's how that happened. I went, went, went home that, that day. It was a Saturday. And I elevated my leg, did all the things that you're supposed to do, and laid in bed for two days because I could not walk. Okay? Two days later, I went to, to see the doctor, and my leg was so swollen that uh, if there was a, p a potential Achilles rupture there, the Achilles cannot be fixed if it's not fixed within a week or two. Alan, I understand you, you're explaining your yeah. injury. We're running out of time, and I want to get your take on the fact that when you walk onto a sports field, you assume the responsibility that there could be an injury because it is a contact sport. I want to get your reaction on that. Okay, my okay. reaction to that is, is simple. Okay, yeah, May yeah, I yeah, answer yeah. the question on uh, Alan's behalf? I'm his lawyer, Gene Goldsman. Of course this coach knows that baseball is a contact sport. He's been a manager for free or a coach for over 20 years there, he's never asked for a dime. He's never filed a lawsuit in his life. He's been married. He's an ups uh, for. He's got five kids. But that's not the point. Ups, whether he citizen. filed a lawsuit previously, right, so he's filing a lawsuit now. But let know. me let me ask the you the question again because we're running out of time. The lawsuit is because this kid crossed the line. In other words, he recklessly took some equipment and he didn't care whether he damaged equipment or any human being and he violently are you, threw it. Are you I saying the kid threw it at you, coach? Him. Are now you saying you're not part of the game to take a helmet and just throw it violently? Coach, are you, are you saying your player uh, threw the helmet at you? That's not what you sign up with. And he's not, he's not a player of the game. He's a man that's sacrificing to try to facilitate the game. But well, are, are you right saying that he did this maliciously did the, and with intent? Did the player throw it at you, coach? He's subjected to this type of abuse. Okay? So if this, if this you're, was. You're saying a 14 year old's abuse? There wouldn't be a lawyer that would be representing him in this case, but the kid crossed the line. And I want to go one step further so you understand. He tried to settle this case out of court before he ever hired a lawyer. He sent letters to the kid and the kid's family, but they blew him off. Now, he's the victim of the case. Would you? So, he didn't do anything wrong. He's let me, an innocent Coach, kid. let me get you he's back into this. And I, we understand your lawyer is trying to do his job way, for you. And, Coach, and, did your player I, throw a helmet at you? Or is that what you're yeah, saying? He, 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 he definitely threw, threw the helmet at me. To try and hurt you? With intent I don't to hurt know. you? Did he, did he do it with intent to hurt me? I, I have no idea he, what his intent was. All I know is that he struck the back of my leg. My leg swelled up three inches wider than the other one, and I was in deep shock, okay? And, and you know what? I tried to let it go and hope it was just a, a bone bruise or a, a large contusion and that just let it go, okay? If he has hit a line drive to me. Okay. All right. Me, Alan, and, and, Alan, Gene, we appreciate you taking the time telling your side of the story. We've dedicated a lot of time to this. We'll be right back after this.